Hi everyone, here is Zakaria Amin from GraphicsZA.net and welcome to this very exciting tutorial in Illustrator. So what we're gonna do today, we're gonna create this curves line and then send them to Photoshop to create this photo. So uh, let's go ahead and start. At first, we're gonna create a new file project with any size and Illustrator because it doesn't matter. So in Photoshop, we're gonna create the file with 1000 width and 600 high and click OK then go back to Illustrator at first we're gonna create uh, boxes with the same color behind OK with a brown color then just from here OK like this Mm -hmm. Then uh, we're gonna go to color viewed, okay. And from the list here, we need to choose a group which you know uh, they have the similar color, maybe this one, okay. Then we're gonna copy these boxes three times, this box three times, okay then just put them behind each other okay like this so I'm just gonna zoom okay each one of these boxes should have a different color okay then just let's change the colors okay okay then select them all go to brush new brush and art brush okay then the direction is gonna be up okay then if you wanna scale the width it's up to you then click OK then here we are we're gonna use now the pin tool and start in creating the line okay so put a point here and another one here then just click on the brush so here we are I'm just gonna increase uh, sorry I'm gonna just scale down the width to maybe 50 click apply to strokes and then just select the line and click copy from edit if you want or just click uh, C, uh, control C and in Photoshop go to edit paste or click control V and from here select pixels and click OK then uh, uh, then we're gonna create a new line okay go back to pen tool we're gonna shut off the color like this okay go back to brush uh, before we go to brush, we're gonna go effect, stylize, round corners, and click OK. So you got this smooth in the corner. Then copy and paste again. The last one is gonna be like this. Click the pen tool again. OK, stylize around corners okay then add okay that's it then copy and go to Photoshop again paste okay then we're gonna select them all and scale them down hold on a second I did that wrong so we're gonna go back here copy and paste and then I'm gonna go back just to this one copy and paste okay right. so uh, as I said we're gonna scale them down a little bit bigger okay like this 
then we're gonna select this this right layer and the big uh, curve this one and just rotate them to this way okay like this maybe control T again for both layers okay maybe like this then I'm gonna select the other layer the last one uh, flip vertical okay I'm gonna take this one also like this then I'm gonna select this layer uh, okay add the mask layer select the pixels of this layer and here uh, I'm just gonna move this side so this one it looks like it's coming up and down okay then just uh, take off this lock okay and move this uh, layer maybe down like this okay then what we're gonna do we're gonna change the color of the background to this one d5 bd 9d okay then we're gonna add two textures to the image to the photoshop file okay hide this one move it up i'm gonna flip this one or, uh, sorry rotate it okay so right now go to overlay mode okay Maybe it's too big like this then here I'm gonna change the mood of the layer to linear burn okay like this then right now, what, we, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna change, I'm gonna add, sorry, a style to this lines, just a drop shadow. So, uh, we're gonna add a drop shadow with the normal mood, the opacity full, then the size, maybe 10, click OK. And we're gonna do that for each one, right here drop shadow normal then turn here okay uh, and also here drop shadow normal and 10 then click ok so we can see here we got a problem so what we're gonna do We're gonna change this one to uh, smart object then again release layer and then add a, a mask layer select the pixels again and just brush here with the black okay so also change the Oh, sorry. Also, add a small black right here, like this, and here also. So it's kind okay, like this. So it's look like it's coming down from here and up from here. So after we did that, you can add right now. Just add some brushes like this mm -hmm. Where are you? like this brushes okay I'm gonna add this one 
just right in here like this so with a black color okay and here also change the mode to multiply okay the opacity maybe to 18 if you want then right now just add the text you want here and here so that's it this is the tutorial but uh, I'm gonna show you just the one I created create so I'm gonna upload this file to the internet if you wanna download it okay so again here's the kitty I mean from graphics ZA and uh, I hope you like this tutorial I will see you next time